Frezza here for the Naval History and Heritage Command, and today we are again going to take a look at another great artifact from the Navy's history, and this one really spans a great length of time. It is the Sextant. Now, Sextants, like this one here, are used for navigation, and the design on them really has not changed over the years. You have a sight that the navigator looks through, you have two reflecting mirrors. You also have a swing arm uh, located right here. And on that arm, you have different hash marks noting different degrees. Now what this sextant is used for is actually fairly simple. It's used to measure the angle between two objects. So the two objects that are normally used are a celestial body, usually the sun or Polaris if it's at night, uh, and the horizon. And what you do is you take a look through your sight. And this front mirror here is actually a half mirror. You have a piece of glass that you can look through and then a mirror off to the next, next to it. And in the center of that mirror, you line up the horizon. Then, using the second mirror, you locate your heavenly body, usually, again, the sun or Polaris. And using that mirror, you bring the reflection down to line up with the first mirror on this piece right here. When you bring the sun down to the horizon, you swing this arm, and when the sun or that heavenly body meets the horizon, you stop. Then you lock down your wheel here, and you take a number reading on your arm that's uh, located here. So the estimation of this angle is also known as sighting. And that angle and the time when it was measured can be used to calculate a position on a nautical chart. So again, for example, at noon, if you sight the sun, you can use that estimation to figure out your latitude. There's actually a great example of a sextant being used in recent history. You see, back in 1969, USS Hornet was dispatched to pick up the space capsule containing the crew members of Apollo 11. And while GPS was around at that time, it was very, very new, still in its infancies, if you will. And not all ships had it. But what they did have was a sextant. And taking sight of the sun and also stars at night, and also figuring out the depths for different mounts around the different underwater mounts around the area, they were able to figure out where they were in relation to where the capsule was supposed to come down. And the day that Apollo 11's command module capsule, Columbia, came screaming through the atmosphere, USS Hornet was there to pick them up. And they were there accurately, thanks to a sextant. And with that, if you're looking to learn more information or see more of the collection, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next Artifact Spotlight.